<sighs> it's time for another build. It has been quite some time since we last done a build on camera. That was smooth for once. And I had this case lying around and it was, or it is still waiting for a review and I thought, yeah, let's, let's do a build today so I can get going with that review video. And this is the Anamax marble shell and I don't know right now where it's up and where it's down, but I think it's on his feet. Yeah, that was a good one. This is the Anamax Marble Shell and there are a few versions of this case, uh, most of which I would consider to be like a bad idea from the get-go. And this is the MS-31, which is the only one that I would consider for myself or I think it's uh, it can be a good case because this one has all of the mesh holes in the front. You have like a, the MS-20 or MS-30, you have a bunch of different versions and some of them have the same front panel but it's completely closed off, which you see the problem. And this one has all of the holes in it and I believe it also comes pre-filled Ooh, a handle yeah and this one also comes with a bunch of ARGB fans so it's supposed to be I guess a out-of-the-box case you know get the case get started and you're done and I'm also going to treat it like one but it is still to be considered a budget case so let's not you know use the the, the, the fan tags and be quiet and Lee and Lee standard here it is a budgety case and it also feels slightly budgety but yeah, maybe let's not do that. So what is going in there today? I've got a bunch of older components, funnily enough. This is uh, still AM4, this is the uh, X570 Tough Gaming Plus, yes, a bunch of words. And we got a 5800X3D, so it's older hardware, but it's still very good hardware. And then we got a bunch of uh, 3600 uh, Pinnacle RGB sticks that go with that. As for the GPU, I'm I'm quite happy with that because I brought back to life my old uh, 2080, 2080 Ti? 2080 Ti? Was that a 2080 Ti? Yes, I brought back to life my old RTX 2080 Ti and when I got it out of the package today and I slapped the cooler back on because it was water cooled for the longest time and I still don't know if it works, that's a whole other question, but I remember when I got this, this was like the biggest GPU I have ever held in my hands. Oh my god, this is so much power and, and now <laughs> When I took it back out, it was like, yeah, that that's that's average at best. It's, I I remember how how uh, how shocked I was by by its size back then. It was enormous, and and now with our 4090, 49, uh, 4080, or even 4070s, it's like, yeah, yeah, this is small. It only has two 8-pin connectors. It's it's small. Oh, how times have changed. And then we got the Scythe Mugen 6 because I don't think I have ever put that inside of a case and it's a beautiful cooler and it's a good cooler. We will do fine for the 5800X3D. Uh, yeah, let's just open the back panel and then we can get going. Not catching screws. Things to keep in mind for the review. Oh, oh, the case has a sidewise mounted fans. That's good to know and absolutely need to be filled to not look like comp complete stupid waste of space. Huh. Yeah, the problem is I need to slap some sort of ARGB fan in there, otherwise we just, like, it will look kind of stupid. Okay, let me grab some ARGB fans. Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. 22.6, the distance between the front fans and the side mount. I hope you can see it on camera. It's this distance here. It's 22 and a half millimeters. And the average fan is, fan is 25. Can't I like, this is not like a thicker fan. This is just regular 20. It's a tiny bit thicker. It's a millimeter thicker. What about these? Yeah, I may, I destroy those. I may be able to fit these here in, but I think I need to remove the front ones first. Oh, this is already starting like really, really bad. Oh. Yeah, that's that's one huge minus point. That that's a very very stupid minus point. But let's put this aside and assemble the base, and then then we'll see and we we'll figure out how how we all solve that problem. That's a problem for in ten minutes. Oh, it has been such a long time since I last worked on a uh, AM4 motherboard. Such a long time. Let's maybe like clean off the thermal ragu that is on there from I don't know what and when. Dip, 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 dip. Oh. 
Oh god, this took longer than I had to admit. The fans were not in the box and I had no idea where they are and they weren't in the, like my fan storage unit and I looked for them like now for an hour and I completely forgot like a few months ago I upgraded my air extractor here in the in, in one of the rooms where I, I benchmark sometimes here it's radiators and I uh, upgraded the air extractor with these uh, scythe wonder tornadoes which are the original fans from that cooler. Yeah they were there just hanging on a yeah let's say a DIY tube sucking air out of this room. Oh this this took an hour. I really need to figure out a way how that will not happen. A few weeks ago I was looking for SSDs and I looked through uh, my my storage unit where I keep empty boxes let's say. And I was like, there is a box for a one terabyte PCIe 4 SSD from Samsung. Where the hell is that SSD? And I was looking everywhere. And at some point I just gave up and I used whatever else I had around for. It was some build that I did. There it is. It was here for probably a year. Oh God. Well, on the bright side, at least I know I don't need to reinstall Windows if that thing is already on there. And probably it works. Mystery of the missing SSD solved. Oh, great. And by the way, even if the build started kind of bad, I solved so many problems I didn't know I had, like in the last 10 minutes. I can still turn this around, but it's not going to be easy. So I would try to show you the problem. Oh yeah, clips. Oh, I love clips. The fans that they pre-installed in, in the front, may they be bad or good, I don't know yet. I, I haven't like done any sort of benchmarks in here. They are oh, the whole concept, oh my God. Okay, so the space here, is like 22 and a half millimeters so I'm not going to be able to squeeze in a fan there however because I know that this is not like the thickest metal on the planet what I will try to do is unmount the front fans mount the sidewise mounted fans because you may also see there is a small indentation here no I haven't measured like from the top part of the indentation but from the bottom so there is not more than 22 and a half millimeters no matter what I do but I think I can maybe bend the whole thing slightly so that I will be able to mount fans in there. That this is a problem in the first place is really really stupid and that will be a very 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 big negative point about this case. Who designs that? But that's a whole other topic. For today I just need to somehow make that fit. Yeah, and then let's talk about the other problem. For some reason whoever put this case together or wherever NMX is putting their cases together decided that it's going to be a smart move to route the central fan through this hole. Like the cable goes through the hole, not to the top and then no, just if a user would use this, he would slap a fan on top of that cable, squeezing the hell out of it or potentially making sure that the cable will somehow get into the fan and then, yeah, you can see where that ends. Oh, this is so stupid. Yeah, there is no way I would screw and unscrew all of these screws by hand. At least they didn't use zip ties, but one of these like metal rods wrapped in plastic that you can... Oh, sorry, yeah. The central fan is routed through the top hole and the bottom fan is mounted or routed through the bottom hole. This is by far the stupidest. Oh, yeah, and in the back everything is strapped together using whatever tape. So you need to undo all of this anyway, which... Don't do that, that's like really stupid and it requires everybody who wants to use the full potential of this case to, yeah, fuck off, to undo all of this and yeah, I, at this point I just don't care anymore. This is really, or this was really, really stupid. Uh, where are my two fans? So let's now try somehow to fiddle these on there somehow. Yeah, something like that. Okay. The sides, no problem. Intake from the side. Now, can we make this fit by using excessive force? I will be able to do it, but it's not going to be pretty. And this is why I really like to do more than one build inside of a case. Before I write even a single sentence, you always run into shit like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the bottom one, that one needs to be squished a lot. Oh, I don't know if I can even make this fit. Oh, this does not look healthy. <laughs> Trust me, it is not healthy. 
okay, I managed to get everything in. The sideways mounted fans are there, the front fans are there, but the process was everything but, but pretty. And you may not be able to see it, and that's like the only hope for this case, but I pretty much, I, I kind of pressed it, like pressed the side fans back, which, yeah, in the back you, you can see it a bit on the metal, it is like dented slightly to the outside. And another problem is that because there is absolutely no space uh, in front of this fan now, I needed to route this cable like straight through here, which is just really, really dumb. But the other way around, I, I, the cable wouldn't fit, so it's this or nothing. It's definitely not the best case out there. But okay, let's get the mother board in because I feel like there is more stuff that is going to go wrong. We got a little GPU anti sac bracket, which I will definitely need for my 2080 Ti. Uh, yeah, let's route out the cables and then we will get to the power supply. Okay, that wasn't that bad. For the power supply, I have prepared here a Be Quiet, what is this, a Pure Power 12, I think this is like 1200 watts, this is like really, really strong. But I feel like we need to, to use some cable extensions from my box of good looking cables. And I'm um, not sure, but I kind of think this turquoise blue would go well with all of this, or would it? Or these here, I haven't used these in, in no, 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 let's go with these, they are. Looking way better. Uh, so we got here PCIe, another PCIe, and do we have a 4-pin EPS? Yeah, one of these is 4-pin EPS. Just which one? Let's go with those. And now I only need to find... Oh, wow, did I have three of them? Now I only need to... Oh, here it is. Great. We got everything we need. I nearly broke everything three times today, but at least it will look pretty. Yeah, and the last two we are going to do uh, from the other side around. <sighs> okay, I guess at this point we are ready to mount that GPU, and of course this is one of these like really stupid... Oh, I hate these. How many slots do we have? Two, right? Yeah, two. Ooh, a two-slot top-of-the-line for its series GPU. That's... yeah, we don't get that anymore. Now we arrive at four slots. Imagine I, uh, I finish this now, I power it on, and then I realize the GPU is dead. Yeah, that would destroy me. That would absolutely destroy me. But before we close this, let's maybe add this one, just for, for good measure. How will I close this? Oh, fuck off. The one cool thing about this case for now is how straight this back is, because every other case would have like a huge bulge here, but, but this one doesn't. And essentially how you uh, close off the, the backside panel, you put it in, in the front, there is like a hook, you hook it on, and then in the back you just... You know, you just pull towards the case and then you close in the screws. And the metal is actually thick enough so that it doesn't bend. I mean, this is pretty straight and, and I will not open it and show you how much of a cable mess is in there because it's a huge cable mess. Uh, because we use extensions. Don't use extensions with this case. It's a bad idea. But you can do it and if you do it, it's wow. I did not expect that. At least we got that. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, please stop the betting. Is the GPU still alive?
Yeah, it didn't boot. Um, but that has nothing to do with the case and has everything to do with this motherboard, which didn't want to boot with a 5800X, didn't want to boot with a 5900 or 5800X 3D, 5900, 3600. This thing just didn't want to boot. Uh, there is the DRAM light is going on each and every time. I don't know what is up with it. Uh, maybe it's dead. It has been in the shelf for God knows how long. So maybe it, it's just a dead board. I don't know. But I had to swap it out, uh, which you may or may not have seen in the B-rolls of this. Um, the CPU fan is like slightly tilted. I need to retilt it. Anyway, the now with the new motherboard, the B550 PG Riptide from ASRock, everything is running fine. The CPU is actually cooled quite well. Uh, we are sitting at, what was it, 70 something, 78 to 79 degrees C, uh, which is fine for a 5800X3D and a good job for the Scythe Mugen 6. For the GPU, on the other hand, yeah, yeah, we are sitting at 77 point something on the die itself, but uh, yeah, the memory and the hotspot, yeah, that, that's not so good. But that really has nothing to do with the case or with the build and everything to do with I had the card water cooled for years and then I swapped it back to the original cooler and I used the, the same thermal pads essentially, uh, which were partially ripped, uh, so I just you know, I fiddled a bit and then I put it together and yeah, here we have a hun almost 110 degrees C hotspot. So almost 110 degrees on the memory, so that's my fault. Uh, so uh, I have I have pads in house, uh, I just need to figure out which thickness goes where and then I will put it back apart and back together with new pads so I can repair that. But uh, the car works, it, it uh, lives, so that's, that's that. The build itself, I mean, if you like the Squirtle design, sure. Uh, all power to you. For the case, uh, I will start working now on the review and it's not going to be that positive. Uh, I don't know about the price yet. If the price is like 30 bucks, then sure, why not? But the side mounting, the side uh, intake or exhaust, it's. I really feel like they just put it there because they had the chassis and they were like, yeah, let's drill a few more holes and there we have a high-end case. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Uh, it's just how they did it is like really, really stupid. Uh, if the front fans were outside the case by default, or I don't even know if they can go outside the case, but if it would be like that, then sure, the side mountings would work. But uh, you saw what I had to do to, to make it fit. And other than that, I mean, the metal work is not particularly great. It stands strong. I will give them that, but uh, yeah, there are a few things about the case that need to be discussed and uh, we have the, the whole review for that. But for today, this was it with my turtle build and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it uh, I wasn't getting too angry with all of the stuff that was going on today or going wrong today. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff going wrong today, uh, so I'm, I'm happy that we are done now and I can start working on the review. But for today, this is going to be it and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.